thrilled to be here tonight and present this award. Um, David Burka and Neil Patrick Harris are both extraordinary individuals. They are both Renaissance men. They both act and sing and dance with extraordinary flair of the Broadway variety. <laughs> in their spare time, they create magic. David in the kitchen, a Le Cordon Bleu trained chef and a successful catering business. And Neil is a magician of the ancient arts variety, who not only sits on the board of the Magic Castle, but has a very macabre and freaky room in his house, <laughs> dedicated to all sorts of magical oddities. As a couple, they are beyond extraordinary and have created the most stunning gay American family portrait. Now, it doesn't hurt that the babies are cuter than Ban Brangelina's. <laughs> and they really are, Gideon and Harper, they're just delicious. And it, of course, it doesn't hurt that David and Neil themselves, and I quote from Glee, um, when I say they are gorgeous, easy on the eyes, handsome, and they're gorgeous. <laughs> to much of the world, they are a remarkable family, and they stand as a role model for young people. This is particularly important for kids out there who fear for their own futures because of their sexual orientation. And any time a society stands on the precipice of social change and progress, the voice of opposition tends to grow louder. And we have a handful of very noisy people these days screaming at the top of their lungs that we're depraved, we live sad lives, and we need to be, like the barbarians, disciplined. And amazingly, some people make the choice to listen to these people. And the most effective thing we can do is turn back toward this hatred with love. We can, yes, indeed. That was my wife's line. We can show them our families with joy and our children with pride. We can go about our business every day, living and loving and raising our kids to be good citizens. We can do our best to make the world a better place. And through this action, more people will choose to listen to us and come to understand that perhaps Marcus Bachman's work ought to start at home. Inside. Look in the mirror. But not everyone in this world has the benefit of having one of our families live next door to them. The role that David and Neil's family play in showing the world what our families can be is so important and that they are just another family. It is the role of public figures to become that neighbor. The one invited in on magazines, online and on television to become a part of their lives. In making the choice to become a public family while living a very private life, there are trade-offs in terms of that pri privacy and personal life. And we are here to thank David and Neil for deciding it was important to them to let the world see how lovely they are. Thank you, David and Neil, for putting a beautiful face on America's notion of what a gay family looks, looks like. Neil Patrick Harris and David Burka. Thank you, Jane, for that lovely introduction. Um, thanks as well to all the staff here tonight for putting on such a great show. For, um, for Leslie Jordan. For being so brave and, and, for, and for coming out in that Madonna outfit and giving us both boners. That was special. And to the board of directors uh, at the center for this amazing award. We are so honored to be here on the 40th anniversary of this incredibly and uh, incredible and important institution. It's hard to believe that it's been 40 years since the center first invented gays and lesbians. <laughs> but David and I are so happy that they did. And it, they didn't? They didn't do that? Okay. He'll, he'll talk now. No. no. More to the point, we're extraordinarily grateful that we're able to stand here today as same-sex couple with children and, and, not feel, and not feel like we're some sort of freak show or some secret government experiment gone awry. <laughs> you know, we've come a long way as a community 
and it's been visibly has been made clear an enormous we've been, made enormous strides in the past 20 or 10 or even five years. It's true. It's true. We get we get to look to parents like Dan Savage and Cynthia Nixon and B.D. Wong and Kat Cora, Lane Janger, Max Mushnick, Rich, Ricky Martin, Simon Hall, Sarah Gilbert, Scott Ellis, Melissa Etheridge, Clay Aiken, Rosie O'Donnell. All right, all right Neil, it's, it's getting late. Yeah, I understand. But, uh, but you get my point. Courageous people who stood tall long before it became acceptable to do so. So we feel very fortunate to live in an era where a more and more traditional notion of a family. I mean, one mother, one father, two dogs, 2.2 kids, and 3.5 iPhones are being reconsidered. People are finally realizing that the classic nuclear family is not always the healthiest environment for a child. Well said. And really, how surprising is this? Because it, it's got the word nuclear in it. Weird. Seems Bizarre. not right, just in theory. Yeah. <laughs> it's like radioactive and they should hide from it. Scary babies. Our society still spends a lot of time arguing about what defining a family means, but, but David and I have come to realize, and really what the center really exemplifies, is that what really matters is the greater community that surrounds our children, right? It's this supporting cast of people. Your aunts, your uncles, your teachers, your friends, your neighbors, your, um, your business managers, your image consultants, your spiritual advisors, your bodyguards, your life coaches, Barry's boot camp for toddlers instructors. Okay, okay. Let's get on with it. It's late, it's late, right. Point being a true village filled with unconditional love and support. And I think that's the most important family that we can all give to our kids. Speaking of which, we're both here. Who's watching the kids? Crap, we should wrap this we up. We should wrap this up. So the center is a shiny example of a village that works. For decades, it's, it's served as a network or a support group and, and even just a place to turn to for the city's gay and lesbian community as a whole. <laughs> whole. How old are you? Sorry. And the center's been doing this for 40 solid years. And we are so grateful for its, its, its existence. And weird, you know, this is the, the true part. The fact is David and I don't really even consider ourselves true activists. There's a lot of other people that do that heavy lifting. Um, sometimes we choose to raise our voices so that the world can hear us, but other times we just frankly want to curl up at home and be a family together. And sometimes you want to embrace the role as gay parents, and, and sometimes you just want to be parents. But I think that that's the greatest change that the center has helped bring about in its 40 years. They, and all of you, are helping create a world where, for the first time, for gays and lesbians, being married and being a parent doesn't have to be about making a statement, and instead it can just be about living our lives. So. So, thank you so much for this award, and thank you for coming out tonight. So to speak. <laughs> and more importantly, thank you for supporting the Gay and Lesbian Center and all that they do. May the center be here forever and for one day more. Thanks so much. Thank you.